Beste partners, van harte welkom op uh, deze webinar van, uh, van mij. En uh, een hele uh, speciale gast hebben we weer uh, uitgenodigd om te komen spreken. Die ook op de Business Day was. En wat een Business Day is het geweest in april. Hè? Uh, volle zaal. Maar vooral kleine dingen die net dat verschil maken. Snackbars proeven, 150 en meer Vito Actives die we weg hebben gegeven. Um, we hebben natuurlijk de tombola gehad. We hebben recognition gehad. Maar wat mij vooral is bijgebleven is het enthousiasme en de energie waarmee de mensen in de zaal naar huis zijn gegaan. En dat hebben we teruggevoeld in die laatste week van april... In de actie die jullie hebben ondernomen, in de omzet die gegenereerd is. Heel, heel mooie maand april is het uiteindelijk geworden. En een van de mensen die al die orders verwerkt voor jullie, dat is Florence. Florence is er al een tijdje bij en is in bijbroek ook nog uh, schoonheidsspecialiste. Maar ik stel voor dat we jullie kennis laten maken met Florence. Hoi, ik ben Florence. Ik werk zeven jaar bij LR als service agent. Ik beantwoord jullie vragen en verwerk ook jullie orders. Ook ben ik verantwoordelijk voor de e-shop. Naast LR ben ik ook zelfstandig schoonheidsspecialiste. Uh, ik weet dus hoe belangrijk het is om je huid te beschermen tegen de zon. Um, daarom zijn de zonneproducten mijn favoriete LR producten. En goed nieuws, want ze staan deze maand in promotie. Kijk dus zeker op onze e-shop of het maandboekje LR World. Uh, nu geef ik het woord terug aan Diederik. Tot de volgende keer. Dank je Florence. En je hebt zo gelijk. Hè? Prachtige producten om ons te beschermen tegen de zon. Die we volgende week ook nodig zullen hebben in Portugal. Uh, want de weersverwachtingen zijn weer heel mooi, heel goed. Uh, en dus die 17 personen die met ons meegaan, daar zullen we voor zorgen dat ze zich in ieder geval niet verbranden. Maar de vraag is, die 17 personen hebben dit koffertje gekregen op de Business Day. En in september op de volgende Business Day gaan we er weer koffertjes uitdelen. Maar de vraag is aan wie? Wie is erbij in Rodos? En uh, wat wilde ik jullie vertellen, is dat mei, mei is de laatste maand dat je je kwalificatie kan beginnen voor Rodos. Dus gebruik die kans om je kwalificatie te beginnen. Zij die al in kwalificatie zijn, zet zo verder. En wellicht dat uh, een, een pakket die we op de Business Day hebben gelanceerd, je erbij kan helpen om succes te hebben, is de kuur, de darm- en stofwisselingskuur... Uh, en daarom hebben we dokter Sven weer uitgenodigd, dokter Sven Bergham, om een beetje meer in diep te vertellen waarom het zo belangrijk is om te zorgen voor je dam- en stofwisselingsgeur. Dokter Sven Bergham. Hallo en welkom to the webinar. The webinar will be a deeper dive into the intestines and what we call the bowel and metabolism cure that is seems to be quite popular right now. My name is Dr. Sven Berchan. I'm a nutritional specialist and I have been working with LR for 15 years now to support the company in developing uh, products, doing studies. I'm a member of the scientific board and I'm um, available for seminars, webinars, and responsible for communication to partners. So let's start and go into um, the content. We're going to talk a little bit, of course, because of the short time, a little bit about the bowel system and how the products work there. Um, First of all, our intestines are um, the oldest organ in the animal kingdom. So everything started with a very simple gut system and then it became more sophisticated and larger within us. Um, the bowel system represents the largest contact surface with the outside. So sometimes we, of course, we believe it our bowel system is in the inside, but actually it's the surface that is kind of 
inside of us like a tube that's running through the whole body our intestines are at the same time the largest metabolic and the largest immune organ of our body so it's very important and it represents um, the kind of second brain so we have a large number of nerve cells around the intestines that communicate with the brain that um, feel not just what's going on inside but also outside we know this that we have a gut feeling and we know this kind of work so the the intestines are very important for our health for our um, immediate health but also for our long-term health and so it is um, the opportunity for us to do something for our health if we approach um, the intestines intelligently um, to understand what LR and other companies offer it is important to see that the issue of health today is quite different than in former years on former periods because we have many diseases today that are related to um, lifestyle factors to things that stresses our bodies and just to mention a few of course that is the issue of nutrition nutrition is not per se unhealthy but it is quite challenging in this world to keep up with a good and healthy nutrition especially in combination with the fact that we sit around a lot we work on desk and so the level of physical in inactivity rises up and so the the axis between the calories we take in actually the food we eat and the calories we actually use in physical activities is very important to consider so overweight overweight and adipositas are some factors that come if the the intake and the usage of um, um, calories is not in balance and then of course stress is maybe the most um, or the biggest danger of our health according to the who because there are a lot of changes in our metabolism in in the balances of our neurotransmitters in the immune system also in the gut system um, due to stress especially chronic stress and then of course we have the the issue of environmental pollution so we have a lot of stuff out there that comes into the body and it comes through the gut system and it influences the gut system it influences the body in many different ways and of course, all these factors are interrelated. They, they um, support each other. They, they strengthen each other. They influence each other. Yeah. I mean, this is really so, or please consider these factors. They are not valid for everybody, but the issue of nutrition, the issue of physical activity, exercise, the issue of stress, how to deal with all the information, how to deal with the pollution outside is for all of us an issue for some people more some people less so the body responds and reacts to these kind of factors for instance and just to mention a few with acidosis with an insufficient supply that can be um, a consequence of unhealthy nutrition so all these factors influence the intestinal flora it can come to an alteration what we call the dysbiosis and there are more um, factors like chronic inflammation that are a consequence of these kind of stress um, factors of these kind of burdens for the body if we don't act accordingly if we don't respond in a wise way in a, in a healthy way and so lifestyle related diseases occur when we are not able anymore to regulate these factors these stress factors so everybody every body has 
a specific regulatory capacity. It is stronger when we are young. It is stronger in some people who has a lot of vitality and it's weaker in other people and it becomes weaker when we grow older. So sometimes people can take a lot of stress and other people break down under the same stress. And that's also true for, for environmental pollution. But we all have limits. We all have limits to this capacity. And if we go beyond the limits, yeah, then quite a lot of uh, diseases can occur. And because of this increase of stress and the increase of these issues that I mentioned before, we can see that more and more people are suffering from, for instance, irritable bowel syndrome. And this syndrome makes stands for 50% of all the um, of all the syndromes in the bowel system. So all the other diseases in the system make the other 50%. And you see, um, for men and for women, it's growing numbers. And that's true for many different diseases like um, colitis and Morbus Crohn. And, and so it is just for you to see that lifestyle related diseases, um, lifestyle related disease, diseases are something that's growing in numbers and lifestyle related diseases are not just in the bowel system they're also in the metal in the um, in in our metabolism like um cheap, um diabetes and high blood pressure and the fact that 50 percent of the people in the western world are overweight has a lot of consequences yeah you know this even various types of cancer can be a consequence of lifestyle like smoking, like eating too much meat and more and more. And it comes with the chronic stress, depression and burnout and all the consequences um, are also lifestyle related diseases. Um, lifestyle related diseases account for about 50, uh, 70% of all the costs in the healthcare system today. So, so it's very relevant and not just because of the money we spend to deal with these diseases. And please consider if you don't change something in your life, we only, we as doctors, we can only manage these diseases with medication. Yeah. So people take for 20, 30 years medication to manage, um, um, diseases that are consequence of their lifestyle instead of changing the lifestyle or changing um, the origin of these diseases and to get get rid of the medication and also of course these um, diseases cost lives yeah people um, die especially from diseases from heart and vessels 50 percent cancer 25 to 30 percent and it costs us a lot of um, quality of life, joy of life. So it is worth, um, it is worth to look at these facts because the good news is if the diseases are related to our lifestyle, changing in lifestyle can also help to cure the diseases. And that's the good news. And this is why we're talking about here today about a cure. So to bring it to a very simple, uh, simple picture, there's a, a saying in German, du bist was du ist. So it doesn't work so much or so good in English, but of course, everybody can understand that each cell, each molecule in our body, what we consist of has been something that we ate before is we, we consist of, of that what we ate before in, from our nutrition. So you are what you eat and how you live, how you live your life. And so let's look um, at the good things here because lifestyle factors can also strengthen the body. Yeah. And then of course we start with nutrition again with a stable supply of micronutrients of all the nutrients like fiber and all what we need 
we can go on that we have every once in a while to think about how to cleanse and detoxify our body from all these um, pollution that we take in through the nutrition, through the air, through the water, yeah, through the skin. So we we can those are the best way to to um, to balance the body and to strengthen the body is to give it rest to go to sleep to sleep well that's still the best method and of course to exercise to play to be outside in nature all these factors are interdependent of course they strengthen each other they support each other and they strengthen the body in order order to deal with the stresses yeah, we do it for our health and we do it for our strengths to deal with the other factors, yeah, to balance the burdens, to balance the stresses. And that's very important. Then, so when you when you give advice to people in terms of LR products or in terms of health coaching, whatever you do outside, then we don't we we do not or our partners do not treat diseases. So we help people to strengthen the body. Yeah. So um, actually we are doing two things at the same time with recommendation of products and not just products, also with other recommendations you can and you should make. You, you reduce stress and burden. For instance, you can reduce hyperacidity in the body through provalence. You can reduce and eliminate dysbiosis, yeah, a poor intestinal flora through pro, pro 12. You can reduce chronic inflammation through aloe, through super omega. So, to bring it to make it simple burden down that's the message and at the same time you strengthen the body you strengthen the intestine system by by um, recommending um, products that support a stable supply or recommending products that would help the body to cleanse to get toxins out or to support the body um, in terms of the intestinal flora to strength up and what could be the result or what is the results we strengthen the body's capacity to regulatory or, or or its regulatory power so that the body's capacity to self heal again yeah if you take away the burden or if you reduce the stress and the burden and then at the same time detoxify give the body what it needs in terms of micronutrients then the body has the power to regulate the internal systems to self-heal and that of course can have consequences in terms of symptoms in terms of diseases in terms of the medication you use but you should not say now you have the products you can get rid of your medication, especially not uh, make um, to say it's going to happen in a week or in a month, because the body is a very complex system and we never really know how much regulatory power a system actually has. It depends on other lifestyle related um, factors like smoking, like alcohol that we cannot see or uh, factors we cannot comprehend from the blood, from the genetics. And also it depends on what I mentioned already, the age. Yeah, younger people have more power here, older people is less. But that's also a reason why older people need more support in terms of products, in terms of supply and all of that. So the most are here, please consider more things, that the point here is, I get a lot of emails from people asking advice for specific uh, illnesses. I understand the question because that's the typical thinking of modern and Western medicine. You have a disease or a symptom and then you have a specific medication. So many LR partners think that eh, there's a disease, there's a symptom. So let's have a specific um, recommendation, but please consider there are 100,000 
um, different medications out there, at least in, in Germany alone. And so we have only 20, 25 uh, different Lifetag products. So this system cannot work. But um, what I said so far gives you a clue that regardless of the type of illness, regardless of the illness, you can always do something for your well-being and your health. You can always support the body in, in self-healing. That's always true. You can always support the body in terms of self-regulating power. Yeah. Um, actually, only, um, only a few diseases you cannot do something about yeah you can always do something to support and actually most of the time we can contribute a lot in positive way and for some lifestyle related diseases it's, it's tr even true that we can fix them by changing our lifestyle by changing our diet by changing our way of living that's that's um, valid and thousands of study could show this. The most important question is, are you ready? Are you ready or your partner or your customer ready to reduce stress and burden? Are you ready to strengthen the body? Are you ready to strengthen your regulatory power and to stimulate your self healing? That's the most important. Are you ready to do it? Are you ready to invest? And these are not big things you don't have to change everything in your life you just turn little wheels yeah or you do uh, you put leverage on different elements in your life and you have an accumulate result in the end and that's also an idea in this metabolic cure so the cure has a basis that's aloe vera and probalance now we were going to talk about why is that the basis and what these products are doing and then if you focus more on the metabolism you would maybe take colostrum if you focus more on the intestines you would take pro 12. if you want to combine it that's always the best way you have all the four products at once yeah because they support each other as you will see let's start with aloe the drinking gale I don't can talk about all the aspects and all the specialists in here. Of course, we don't have the time for that, but let's take a short look about what is the aloe doing and doing simultaneously. And that's interesting for such a medical plant like aloe vera. It works on basic systems in the body like the anti-inflammatory um, uh, the inflammatory system so it has anti-inflammatory effects it has cleansing and stimulating effects on metabolism especially on blood sugar on blood lipids um, it provides a lot of micronutrients and it's and it supports the uh, the intake of micronutrients from your food that's very special and they, we don't know about any other plant that could do this. It works on the immune system in terms of immune modulating. That could mean strengthening the immune system or balancing the immune system. Both capacities are in the aloe vera and it has regenerative and preventive effects and only to name a few. And how do we know? There are hundreds or even thousands, actually than 4,400 studies in the big medical libraries where you can find all the results about the usage of aloe vera. There are many, many studies also for the usage uh, for different kinds of diseases um, to support. It is not a support, it is not a special remedy for a specific disease. It helps the body to deal with all kinds of stresses, and that will be beneficial for dealing with any kind of disease without saying that that will reduce a specific symptom in a certain amount of time. This is always hard to say. Yeah. So what makes the aloe vera so effective that is really a special blend or formulation of all of, of a wide range 
of ingredients like vitamins, like minerals, trace elements, amino acids, enzymes, very special, um, highly effective mono and polysaccharides. Maybe you heard about asimanan. Yeah, this is very well established. Uh, uh, um, a substance that is produced in a young body of, 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 of a young human body, but then we lose this capacity so body can help to re, uh, uh, regenerate cells and organs in the or um, tissue in the body. So we have quite a lot of bioactive plant substances, uh, like in all healing plants and, and many more, even plant hormones and essential oils and so on. And the interesting thing here is it is not the single substance in the allure. It's not that just this is so effective. It is the coming together. It's the playing together of all these uh, ingredients. So they, they work like an orchestra that plays together. And that is really special because if you look at other um of uh, uh, other medical plants uh very often you have specific ingredients that work especially on certain issues and here in the allure um they work together yeah they tell us a story of of um of a symphony or this uh, of of working together of of communication yeah so that's it is actually a principle in nature like in, in 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 ecology that all the things work together and they create something that is more than just the sum of the parts yeah and that is true for many um basic principles in natural medicine yeah so when we take a look now uh, at the product level so you have a lower traditional honey honey means that there's seven to nine percent honey in the allure or mixed with the allure and it is said that it helps the allure working in the body so it can used as a health or cleansing cure to improve the metabolism um, when you reach a point in your life where you say maybe okay i want to start living a, a healthier life how can i start i can start with actually cleansing the body, giving it support for a longer period of time, changing my diet accordingly, you know, doing a little bit more exercise, going outside. And so as a start um, in such a period of your life, it is very ideal, I would say. Also, if you are on a path of weight loss or um, for um, supporting your intestines and so um you always start slowly and you can go up to three times 30 milliliter per day you can exceed you can even take more if you have a feeling that it works good you can take a little bit less but this is that's the corridor in which you can um, apply this and you should use it at least for three to six months you can use it longer um and you should combine it with probalance three times four probalance i will come to that if you don't want to um use something with sugar uh, with sugar in in the honey you can have um aloe vera peach it is sugar free as an alternative and it's the same yeah and please consider you have all the effects that i mentioned before simultaneously when you drink yeah um, so that's maybe more suitable for people with diabetes or when you have a period of weight loss and don't want to take in additional sugar. Again, in combination, it works best in combination with ProBalance. Or if you are at a certain age, maybe 50, 55, you want to support especially the vessels and the heart and the, uh, the sting nestle that is added here and with the silicon that is in there you support um, especially your vessels and of course with two capsules of super omega with omega-3 fatty acids you have a strong support 
for your vessels. And that's already a good anti-aging program also, a lower probability than super omega. And, and please consider there are always more to say, for instance, the silicon is also good for your bone health. It's also an issue for older people, especially for women with osteoporosis and stuff. And because of the wide range of supportive um, um, power, um, you can use also um, as a support with chronic intestinal inflammation, with joint inflammation, with all kinds of inflammational diseases or where inflammation is part of the disease. If you then take aloe vera, especially in combination with super omega, you support the body in dealing with inflammation to reduce inflammation. Because of the uh, influence on the immune system, you can use it with allergic diseases or also with with you have uh, frequent colds or use to support and strengthen the immune system, especially um, in the darker period um, of, of the year, or if you have a lot of stress or if you have a weaker immune system due to medication, um, operations and stuff. Um, because of the of the all the valuable ingredients and the ability to support the intake of vitamins, um, you can just use the aloe to support your overall supply of micronutrients. Um, if your nutrition is poor, if you are in a or if you are on a certain diet. Or especially for older people, for, because for older people, it's really hard to get all the micronutrients because they eat less and then they cannot chew right properly or um, they have inflammations in, in the stomach or in the gut system. So the intake of micronutrients is reduced. So many, many reasons uh, why, especially people from the age of 55, 60 um, really benefit from all kinds of supports of the micronutrients and especially also from aloe vera. And also for people who have difficulties with their metabolism, um, high cholesterol, elevated blood lip lipids or diabetes, um, blood sugar. So it can help the body in regulate and uh, these kind of factors. The application is, as I said already, uh, you start slowly, you start maybe with three times uh, five, three times 10 milliliter daily, up to three times 30, or even more if you have the feeling that it works best for you, you can. Yeah, um, because of the, the impact is a mild, it's not as, as strong as medication, it unfolds over a period of time. So you cannot drink a bottle over a week and then say, okay, I still have this and that. Give it time. Yeah. It took years to develop all these um, lifestyle related diseases. So they, they not um, disappear within days or weeks. Um, and, and continuous intake is possible that's important because it's free of alloy yeah so the original plant you cannot use over a longer period of time because there are ingredients that influence the body in a way that is not good for a longer period of time and these um these ingredients like alloy are removed totally so it's alloy free and that's why it's suitable for for uh, taking it even continuously yeah that's um, of, of course, possible. So let's take a look on acidity, especially in probalance. Actually, there's more than acidity to probalance. Actually, there are three pillars. The first is um, the support or the security of supply with the four vital minerals, calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sodium. Um, of, we could say a lot about this. Don't do it here because we don't have the time. Then we have trace elements like copper, chromium, again, silicon and molybdenum. Um, and then we have, and that's the, um, the interesting issue here now, then we have the alkaline potential um, due to the carbonates and the, especially the citrates that are in there. And this is a high level ingredient that is um, very valuable and helpful for the body. And let's take a short look on, on this 
part of the of the story. So what we call acidosis. Acidosis as a result of the lifestyle is due to our nutrition and the changes we experienced over a long period of time. And acidosis comes into our system due to stress. So a stressed organism will some will will be an organism with the acid load and especially under stress we have poor nutrition and it, they often come together and that's why it's a real a severe issue if you want to know if your acid base system is in balance you should check what is the relation between food that comes with an acid load and food that comes with a base load in the body nothing of that is per se good or bad it the the most important question is the relation so how much food brings acid in the body how much food brings base in the body so to be in the balance and that is due to the evolutionary uh, development we make over millions of years is have you 80 percent of your nutrition base related so means vegetable fruits roots and seeds and what we had and only 20 percent meat this is how we grew up as humans over, over long periods of time we had vegetables leaves fruits and every once in a while there was an elephant or a gazelle or a gnu or something like that though we had meat so we had 20 percent of our total um, nutrition was meat and 80 percent has been um, fruits and vegetables and then the acid base system is in balance and then we got 10,000 years ago 8,000 years ago we got dairy products and they deliver a lot of acid load then we became then we added cereals like bread and pasta and they also pay into the acid part and so we have a situation today where many people have 70 percent of their nutrition within coming with an acid load and only 30 percent with a base load of um, and plant-based and then of course you have something that we call hyper acidity so hyper acidity or chronic hyper acidity for the most people represents this kind of nutritional imbalance and listen carefully that's not a disease but it can lead to diseases it can promote prolong or aggravate various kind of diseases like diseases of the metabolism diseases of our bones and and, and very different kind of stuff so it is a chronic stress factor in the body yeah and that's true for many people in the world and you can check where do you see yourself in terms of the relation of these kind of nutritional factors so probalance is able to balance your acid base household or it contributes at least and to do so um i go to do so you have to take really three times four tablets for at least 12 weeks or then maybe have over for 12 further weeks or you can of course use it permanently and it can be recommended um, when additional minerals are required with poor nutrition with stress yeah with the age yeah if you have an acidic diet yeah to avoid the a chronic hyperacidity in the body and you can also ask yourself or your client if they have already symptoms or signs of hyperacidity and one typical design is uh, pain yeah in german we we say sauer macht aua yeah so pain especially in the muscles especially in the joints and also these kind of inflammatory diseases like arthritis or rheumatism they come with hyperacidity especially in the areas where the inflammation is going on also chronic back pain it, one aspect of chronic back pain is hyperacidity in the muscles yeah also headaches fatigue and so not fatigue is 
only because of hyperacidity, but it always comes together, yeah? Or chronic metabol met metabolic diseases like high blood pressure and diabetes. Yeah, it's recommended here. And of course, after heavy alcohol, because during the time of alcohol in the blood during the time you drink and for it sometimes after the kidneys are not able to regulate your mineral household so you lose a lot of minerals while drinking alcohol and to restore the minerals in the body and that will even reduce the hangover yeah this we have seen already yeah Think about the application and keep and stay with the application. Ideally, you take it after the meal. Yeah, but this is not so important. Yeah, more important is that you take it. So, so we have two products, the basis. And then, of course, for a healthy intestine, a functional intestinal flora is important, is basic, of course. Um, and so we come to a very good product, Pro 12. Pro 12 is a combination of 12 different strains of bacteria, healthy, what we call probiotic for life, probiotic for life um, bacteria. And in big numbers, so 1.5 billion bacteria are in one capsule. Yeah. And now it's an important information um not the capsule that you take out of the box the powder that you see inside when you open the the capsule that are the micro encapsulated strains yeah of the different bacteria that means you can open it especially for small children because they benefit a lot especially after caesarean birth or when they have um, when they got antibiotic very early in life so then to destroy or um, really um, disturb the intestinal flora and they are not able to swallow the whole capsule you can open it and you can give it even to small children up to from the from the age of three to six months you can start this if needed yeah and what else do we have in the capsules what we call prebiotics, that's the food for the probiotic bacteria. And then, of course, all kinds of fruits and vegetables are good for probiotic bacteria and should be eaten more frequently while taking this product to help the bacteria to grow inside the intestine. So probiotic bacteria are an important part of our body actually we could not even live without them this is how they look like they live like um, um, like grass on the on the ground you know they cover the surface of um of um the our intestines and they are involved in many many different functions in the digestion for our metabolism they are partners for the immune system and as modern studies show more and more they influence even our mood yeah the brain health how much i can concentrate how alert i am of course my alertness is due to different factors but it's very interesting to see that um, probiotic bacteria to through substances they produce and go into the bloodstream can influence um, my brain so what we call brain fog if you are not really concentrated that is um, a, a factor that can come from not just from the probiotic bacteria but from the pathogenetic uh, bacteria and strains that also live in the body. Yeah. Of course, any good story has a good, a good part and a and a bad part. And actually, in a healthy uh, living space, they are in balance. We cannot uh, get rid of um, pathogenetic bacteria or or fungi or viruses. Yeah. Actually. If we support the probiotic bacteria, they keep the whole thing in balance. Yeah. 
And again, our world has changed. Yeah, as we said here, nutrition, stress, all these things have, of course, an effect on our intestine and on our microbiome. And microbiome is the whole thing, all the um, microbiotic um, 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 bacteria and, and fungi that live in our intestine. And then the balance is influenced and can um, shrink. And then we have something what we call in medicine dysbiosis. Dysbiosis means you have less probiotic bacteria and more pathogenetic bacteria, more fungi. And that can or that is a factor or a cofactor for many diseases like allergies, like frequent infections, especially on the respiratory tract. And that is due to the fact that all the surfaces, the, the gut system is a surface, our respiratory system is a surface, the skin is the surface, even the urogenital is a surface. Yeah. So if you have a disturbance on one of the major surfaces, like the gut system, it has influences, especially on the immunix, um, uh, on the immune system and the immunic response of the other surfaces like the respiratory tract. And of course, dysbiosis is part of irritable bowel syndrome, of diarrhea, and also of chronic inflammation. And here's important, not just chronic inflammation in the intestine, but also in the whole body due to many mechanisms and also of the brain. And that's even part of um, the development of dementia, Alzheimer and stuff. So you see um, what's going on in the intestine. It's foundational for our health and it's important. So Pro12 can help us to restore a healthy gut flora. Yeah. And that's that you should at least consider after taking antibiotics. Antibiotics always means a, a heavy disturbance of um, the intestinal or the microbiome. And then you should take um, uh, Pro 12 along with the antibiotics and for three to th for two to three months uh, after you stop with the antibiotics. You can use a combination of Pro 12, Aloe and Reishi for hay fever and allergies. You can strengthen your, a weak immune system, especially in children when they start, when they have the difficult start with maybe a cesarean birth. Yeah, when uh, not the right um, bacteria come into the intestine first um, or after uh, a period in, in the hospital, after operations or also with food intolerances and, of course, with um, irritable bowel syndrome. So uh, quite a lot of different um, um, diseases where, uh, where taking additional probiotic bacteria can be beneficial even for the symptoms. And then the last product here to, to mention it shortly is colostrum. Colostrum, or also a pre-milk, is produced by all mammals to support the growth and the immune system of their offspring. So colostrum is very different from normal milk because it contains a, a, a broad variety of immune factors, of growth factors um, to support the offspring immediately right after birth. So colostrum is also only available for a couple of hours after birth and only these early colostrum is valuable and LR is really keen on this early colostrum and that delivers quite a high potential of valuable ingredients, many hundreds. We have 4,000 studies for aloe, we have 10,000 about colostrum because it's even um, br a broader um, application also in, 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 in medicine. So colostrum is because of the growth factors good against inflammations of the gastrointestinal tract. Yeah, it is. It helps to regulate the immune system. So irritable bowel syndrome, 
Um, also, if you take it in in, uh, in in the course of intestinal cures, yeah, we take a look at this right now. And to support the metabolism, yeah, it is even used by sportsmen because it supports the growth of muscles and support weight loss. Not just taking colostrum, then you have a weight loss. But if you are on a way on a diet, you can take it. Um, you take uh, two times eight milliliters, especially in the evening, more on the empty stomach and then to leave it there. Or as part of the intestinal metabolism cure, you take, if you even, you depend it a little bit on the body weight, you take one milliliter per 10 kilogram. Um, if you have more severe symptoms, you can even take more or three capsules in the evening before you go to bed. Okay, let's take um, a final look on how the things work together. This is what we have seen already. You can take the basis and focus on metabolism or the basis and focus on intestine or take them all together. And taking the more, um, the more different product you combine, the stronger uh, will be the effects. And what are the effects? A stimulation of metabolism due to the aloe and the enzyme, the amino acids, uh, the micronutrients, as we discussed already. So a reduced inflammation and a reduced oxidative stress. I haven't mentioned this so far, but it's also a very important part of the um, aloe. Then strengthen and balancing of the immune system, according to the aloe, as we shared. The deacidification or a more balanced acid-base system, and that that takes off burden from the body due to probalance you secure the supply of mineral and trace elements through probalance you improve the intestinal flora through pro 12 yeah you strengthen and balance the immune system through colostrum and you support also metabolism body composition and colostrum now it comes all all these effects take place simultaneously in parallel and that's the secret, actually. It's not just, you know, if you take medication, you have only one symptom. Yeah, you reduce one symptom. And that's, of course, it's legitimate, legitimate, legitimate that to do this. But if you work with natural medicine, if you work on, on this part, you have mild effects that work simultaneously in parallel. And these mild effects sum up over the time to help the body to um, in many different areas. So you can support prevention, you can do it as anti-aging, you can do it as a start in a healthier life to, to get rid of um, old stuff, yeah? Or just to doing good on your body, to love your body from the inside. And here some final, um, some final um, recommendations. So for the intestines, as we said, with inflammational diseases, irritable bowel syndrome, food intolerances, and that's especially if you t if you combine the products for the immune system with hay fever, as I said, especially then also with reishi. For asthma, please very carefully with aloe and asthma, start very slowly, yeah? Maybe start with colostrum, take aloe a little bit later. Very important after antibiotics, yeah? This is really important, especially for children. Then also for different skin diseases like psoriasis, neurodermitis, also for rheumatism, and you can also try, have a try with autoimmune diseases. And never forget, it's a, uh, body and mind belong together so the mood changes in the mood can can be due to um, chronic inflammation and the informational level in the body so depressive mood can come from a neurosis of course but can also come from chronic inflammation post-covid syndrome uh, inflammation and disturbances in the vessels are part of post-covid yeah, I would always recommend to do uh, a, a cure like that or for general strengthening or for performance enhancement. So if you give the body what it needs, like with good gasoline in the car or what 
that's quite a normal thing. If you get everything you need, you are in your you are in your best version. You are in your best power, and this is um, what we should uh, aim for. So, and we don't want to talk just about products. And let's start maybe with the products, but then have more fiber, have more fiber from diet, eat more plants. That's the very most fundamental recommendation in terms of nutrition. And of course, the, the whole intestinal cure is will become more effective if you then eat more plants. If you maybe parallel reduce sugar, I don't say don't eat sugar, uh, sugar don't eat meat, but have a think about a reduction only already 10%, 20% helps. And if you continue, maybe reduce about 50%, it helps a lot, really a lot. And you need patience. You need patience because um, lifestyle related diseases develop over longer periods of time. Yeah. Most of the time unnoticed, only when they are really there, then we see the symptoms. But the the imbalances in the body are in the body for months years and even decades before our regulatory capacity is not able anymore to deal with that and then the disease actually occur and the symptoms are noticed then um, so we can help the body to regulate to self-heal support that is always right to do so especially if you have a disease and so regardless what kind of disease you always support the body and that's a good idea yeah so good luck stay healthy and thank you very much for your time and your attention all the best Ja, uh, Dr. Sven Wergham, hartelijk bedankt voor deze duidelijke en in-depth uitleg over hoe belangrijk het is om uh, ja, te zorgen voor onze darm- en stofwisselingskuur. En uh, ja, hij wijst ook op het uh, belang van en, en hoe we voorzichtig moeten zijn hoe we dit uitleggen aan een derde persoon. En ik zou daar toch nog ietsjes dieper op in willen gaan aan het einde. Ja, zoals jullie weten stellen wij uh, hoge eisen aan de kwaliteit en de samenstelling van onze producten. Wij streven er niet alleen naar uh, verder te gaan dan de wettelijke voorgeschreven eisen, hè, maar vervullen deze ook op regelmatige basis. En, en dat loont. Onafhankelijke instituten zoals het SGS, hè, Instituut Fresenius of het uh, IASC, uh, certificeren veel van onze producten. He, zo voldoen wij aan een andere belangrijke eis. He, jullie het beste leveren. Want het beste uh, voor jullie en onze klanten is ons streven. Wij willen uh, in dit verband op drie dingen wijzen. Ja? Eén, het is juist uh, goed en begrijpelijk dat je van onze LR-producten houdt. Over hun effectiviteit vertelt, erover praat en je ervaringen deelt. Twee, wanneer je over onze producten praat, gelden er wettelijke uh, beperkingen uh, voor uitspraken over de gezondheidseffecten van ingrediënten van LR-producten. Daarom is het logisch dat je altijd de informatiemateriaal en productieinformatie van LR raadpleegt. En ten laatste drie, onze producten bevorderen het welzijn en dragen zo in uh, belangrijke mate bij aan een gezond leven. Het zijn echter geen medicijnen en, en genezen dus geen ziekte. Ja, een, een concreet voorbeeld, aloe vera, is een goede en, en waardevolle grondstof. Onze aloe vera drinking gels zijn in alle opzichten uitstekend. Maar, ja, het is misschien een harde, maar genezen geen kanker, hè? Ja. Blijf deze belangrijke punten in gedachten houden wanneer je over onze topproducten uh, aan anderen aanbeveelt. De, deze drie punten zijn ervoor om jullie een gezonde en, en stabiele business te kunnen geven op lange termijn. En op lange termijn om een gezonde business te kunnen 
opbouwen is wellicht inderdaad de nieuwe kuur die we gelanceerd hebben op de Business Day een perfecte set om ofwel mee te beginnen ofwel om je gezondheid een extra boost te geven. Ja, en daar in die set daar zitten de negen aloe vera, vrije keuze, ja, de uh, drie proderm, de zes pro balance en zes colostrum. Hele mooie, 900 pw, goede prijs, meer dan 20% reductie, dus gebruik die kans. Die set hebben we nu permanent gelanceerd uh, als een permanente darm- en stofwisselingskuur uh, in onze aanbod. Dus gebruik dat en alle andere mogelijkheden die wij bieden om van mij een geweldige maand te maken. Ik wens jullie heel veel succes en tot de volgende keer.